Yo, I'm not your Average Joe, and today we're starting a really big project. Come with me. My stressy bike. This is 2006 Giant OCR. It's been my daily commuter for going on 10 years now, but it's seen better days, and we need to give it some TLC. The components are all pretty sound, but it's looking a bit dated. The color scheme's off, and in the current 2020 COVID lockdown situation, I thought we might give it a paint. There's a fair bit of wear and tear here as well, so we're gonna fill in some of these indentations and scratches. Just wish you through the hardware we got on this thing quick. We've got some Novatech Jalco wheels. We've got almost a full Tiagra drivetrain, but we are running an eight-speed cassette and eight-speed Sora shifters, I believe. We do like the little thumb shifters. And they're probably gonna upgrade those at some point in the future, but this is a cheap do-over for this bike. Our pedals have flats on one side, SPDs on the other. They're brilliant for this kind of easy going touring bike that I like to ride. I am under no illusion. This is a big undertaking and we're probably gonna need a couple of days just sanding all this current paint off it, but got a load of tools to help us. We've got an angle grinder, flat disc on there at the moment. We've got a die grinder. We've got an orbital sander, mask, obviously. Keep yourself safe, people, especially at these times. Everyone's wearing masks. They don't beat mine. Some files and then we have a bag of abrasives. So I'm gonna take you through these in the order we're probably gonna use them. We've got some York abrasive stripper discs, uh, one for the angle grinder. We've got a little one here for the die grinder. We've also got some of these roll locks with both these bristle pads and a couple of sanding discs as well. Stage one, get the bulk off. Then with a mixture of carbide burrs, flat discs and the orbital sander, We'll bring it down a few grades and then finish off on a load of hand sanding paper. As you can probably hear, we've got a nice windy day today, perfect for doing all this sanding. But first, we've got to strip all the components off the bike. So uh, let's get it on the stand. This is where we're gonna have some problems. This bolt that goes through the fork here is completely stripped. Let's see what we can do now we've got the forked off. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do now. those of you that do this properly and those of you that have done this before you probably think I'm nuts for leaving these bits on but I don't really have an option to be honest and uh, as long as I keep them nice and masked up we should be okay what I'm gonna do though is mask them up before I start sanding the frame we don't want any dust uh, or any paint particles or anything like that getting into the, getting into the bearings so uh, I suppose we better crack on with that That one's not coming off. So there's so much dirt encrusted onto these chain rings that I've had to start chiseling it off with a knife. Even the Dremel couldn't get through it. Thank you. 
So, I think we might be coming to the end of this disc and I don't have any more. So uh, yeah, might leave this until I can grab another one because uh, using those tiny ones will take forever. We'll see you next time. So, new day, new sanding disc. Back over at the workshop, but we forgot the bike stand. So, we've got our joinery table, our little workbench here, and uh, yeah, let's get to work, clean up some of these smaller spots. far as we're getting with the power tools getting to these tiny little places with that little dremel once it's charged again and some good old-fashioned elbow push let's have a look at these bolts so everything seems to be going pretty well we need to get into these detail sections near the welds and then we're going to go in on the wheels and have a look at touching up the shifters. So we've got a bit of a situation now. The main base color of my design isn't in stock. So, looks like we're gonna be doing a part two at some point, coming back, finishing off doing the paint and build. Um, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed that nice little video. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.